with you being in Michigan and me being in Mississippi, I, I've got to say this. Um, I, I don't like, and I'm, I know I'm being a nerdy academic here, but I, I don't like calling it October lull because it should be framed relative to the rut. Mm-hmm. It yeah. should be the pre-rut you know, lull if, if there were one. So that that's part one. I think it's just that month before where you're at and, and most of the Midwest, et cetera, October is the month before November, obviously, but mm-hmm. November is usually the, the majority of the times the rut is in the Midwest. You, you've got to shift that a month or two in the Southeast. So where I'm at, the, the peak of the rut is going to be in December. Go further south, it's January. Go further south, it's February. So basically, let's just say it's the month before. Well, we've got we've got a change that's going on there. So all during this time, we had the, the summer summertime and we had the bachelor groups. And then the bachelor group, groups are breaking up. That could be September, even into October in some cases. And so bucks are going back to their fall, winter home ranges. Um, and then we have the, the pre-rut is now moving in. So we, now we're having a change of behavior at that time. So now we're going from bucks that are maybe more going back to their home range. They're focused on food. Now they're focusing on scraping activity. Now they're focusing on going out and locating where those doe social groups and focal groups are at. So when, when you look at the data and, and you look at if you wanted to measure it as the amount of movement each day, there is no October lull. It is, it is more of a probably changing their movement patterns and the places they are and then you will see the, the big spike. The, the big spike you'll see is pre-rut and rut. Right. So right before, so if you wanted to say there's really no difference in the movement rates or distance covered two months before the rut or a month before the rut, which for you would be October, mm-hmm. the October lull, there's no difference in the movement rate the month before that, you know, September for you and then October. It's just that then you hit the rut and now they're moving more and you're seeing them more during daylight hours. So I think the October lull is a combination of uh, deer settling in to their their fall home range. Um, food is changing. Now they're, they're starting to think about the rut, territoriality, scraping behavior, locating does. And then you see this big spike come mm-hmm. November when the rut comes in. Gotcha. So it's more about uh, the the October lull, or in your case, it'd be November lull, right? Mm -hmm. Um, It's more about visibility is changing versus movement. I think so. 